So you're a singer songwriter and you're looking to get started recording from home. This is the video for you. Everything that you need to create your singer songwriter's home studio. So first off, you're going to need an audio interface, something you can plug into so you can record into your DAW, your computer software. For starting out, a two input interface is gonna do you just fine. That means you can record two separate instruments or a voice and an electric guitar, for example, at the same time. If you think you may be recording with more people very soon in the future, then you may wanna consider an interface with more inputs. But for most singer songwriters, a two input audio interface is gonna do just fine. When it comes to what brand, I recommend the Focusrite interfaces. I've got one behind me. I recommend the 2i2 as a great starting point. That's from the Scarlet range. Super simple to use, super reliable, not too expensive either. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself for monitoring and for recording a set of headphones, and not just any set of headphones, but closed back headphones. That means the back of them, yeah, you guessed it, is closed. Open back headphones will allow you to feel more in the room, and some people, me included, find them more comfortable for mixing, but if you want a one set does all set of headphones, then you wanna get a closed back. This means you're gonna be able to record uh, vocals, for example, onto a microphone without the bleed of the monitor coming out onto the microphone recording. Home studio monitor producers, KRK, have a great range of closed back headphones aimed at the home studio user. Uh, I really recommend for budget as well, these SR950s from Samson. Next up, you're a singer songwriter. You're gonna wanna get yourself one of these, a microphone and a large diaphragm condenser microphone would be the way to go. It's gonna capture a, a very natural sound, but also all the detail of your vocal too. It's also gonna translate really well um, recording an acoustic guitar as well. I'd recommend a microphone like Rhodes NT1A to get started. If you check out online, you can get a pack with a microphone, with the pop shield and the shock mount, all bundled into one. It keeps it nice and simple. Not too expensive at all, but a great sounding microphone. If you're a singer-songwriter new to home studio recording, or maybe you've been recording for a while, but just not getting the results that you deserve, I have a course, the Singer Songwriter Home Studio Toolkit, which is gonna take you through every step of the way from arrangement and development of the song, recording, and a fully interactive mixing module. And to say thank you for watching this video today, I'm gonna to offer you 20% off that course right now with coupon code YouTube20. If, as a singer-songwriter, you're an acoustic guitarist and you're doing quite a lot of recordings, which are just vocal and acoustic guitar or quite sparse recordings, then you might be in the market for looking at a matched pair of microphones. That's going to enable you to capture more of the stereo image of the acoustic guitar and get a more accurate representation of what that sounds like sonically. If you're in the market for a couple of those, then I would recommend these from Lewitt, the LCT040 matches, not too expensive, but they sound killer on acoustic guitars. Next up, you may well wanna be looking for a MIDI controller and using MIDI is gonna set you free in the home studio. It's gonna allow you access to control a whole plethora of free and paid for plugins, which gives you access to just about every instrument in the world. MIDI controllers are not expensive. They're essentially pretty much empty shells with a bit of circuitry inside. This one's under 100 pounds that's behind me and does the job just great. If you're a piano player, if you're used to playing the keys, you may want to look at a weighted stage piano alternative. There's some super inexpensive ones from Toman that are well worth looking at, which are gonna give you a much more realistic piano experience, but also double as MIDI controllers. When it comes to monitoring in your home studio, it's not gonna take too long before you get a bit tired using just a set of these and you want to invest in a set of studio monitors. Depending on the size of your room, you may want to go for something like a six inch monitor, like this one, the LP6 from Cali, or behind me, the LP8 if you've got a larger room. If budget and size is an issue, check out the Presonus Eris series. They start with drivers as small as 3.5 inches and they sound excellent. And whilst you're getting your new home studio set up, don't neglect acoustic treatment. Get yourself some decoupling pads underneath your studio monitors. And rather than just cheap foam, invest in some fiberglass panels like the ones behind me and some decent bass traps. It will make a huge difference to the results that you get from your home studio. Okay, so I know it all feels and might sound a bit expensive, so here's some super singer-songwriter home studio cheap tips. Number one is percussion. Percussion can really liven up your recordings and a little goes a really long way. And the best thing is percussion is super cheap. You can find it in charity shops. You can find it in kids' shops. You can make your own just with like rice shakers in a, in a Kinder Egg, tambourines, bongos, kabasas, you name it. 
get percussion in your recordings and bring them to life. Now when you're using guitars in a home studio, you don't have to shell out an absolute load. This nylon strung guitar, which sounds great, and I've used it in a whole bunch of recordings, I bought for six pounds. Simply get some new strings on it and it's sounding fab. You can find them in charity shops everywhere. This uh, excellent Yamaha Pacifica with dual humbucker, I got for 50 pounds. Uh, just uh, on Facebook, so the bargains are absolutely out there. If you've got a budget for just one, I'd recommend getting as versatile an instrument as possible. If you're buying an instrument like this with a humbucking pickup, check to see if you can get one that's got a coil split in it too. That way, you're gonna get a single coil and a humbucking pickup all in one single guitar. That's a lot of sound for your money. And there's a whole bunch of other inexpensive instruments like harmonicas, ukuleles, xylophones, which you can pick up super cheap but you can use to build up awesome singer-songwriter acoustic recording. And my final top tip is to invest in a relatively inexpensive mic stand. It's not gonna be gigging, it's gonna be kept and looked after in the studio, so you don't have to spend an absolute fortune on this, but have this set up in your home studio with your microphone on it, so when lightning strikes, when you wanna get on, when you wanna be creative, it's all set up and ready to go, rather than having to rummage through your gig bag for leads and, and mic stands, by which point the creative moment may well have passed. That's everything you're gonna need as a singer-songwriter to get started in your home studio making amazing recordings. If I've missed something out, drop it in the comments box below. I'll see you next time.